Hey, we haven't shot any video in a while, but we want to take a quick minute just to show you what we do with our clothes while we're on the road. Materials used are a 5 8 inch dowel. We cut 14 inches long and scored it so the uh, elastic string would not move once we tie it to the dowel. We also use two cable cuffs. These are the small size cable cuffs. You can get them at Home Depot for less than $2 each. We used 9 16 inch screw eyes and then elastic cord. When assembled, this is what it looks like. We've utilized the grab bar to the Honda Odyssey. We fasten the cable cuff to the grab bar, both cable cuffs, and then the dowel rests in the contour of the cable cuff and it's held in place by tension of the elastic string. The elastic string runs through the grooves we cut in here so it doesn't slide and it all runs down to the bottom of the shelf and we've tied them to eye hooks. So tension holds this all in place. There's a couple different ways you, you can load this. There's no right or wrong. I mean, you could literally take the dowel off and just start packing everything in. Um, what I tend to do is I leave the dowel on and I just start loading it up. Not going from the, from the side. Like I said, there's no right or wrong way. You just want to make sure that the elastic is grabbing the bags the packing cubes so they don't slide at all and um, usually I'll probably just kind of come in here that's grabbed and we've traveled thousands of miles with this system and nothing shifts on us the only time something would shift is if I didn't load it right but um, this will go nowhere this is what it looks like when it's loaded when we have laundry, we dedicated a space to put the laundry. And basically it's underneath the storage compartment here. We have this laundry bag. We always keep it so that the mouth of it is accessible from inside here. We'll just tuck our laundry in and uh, go about our business. When we arrive at a laundry facility, we just come around the back, grab the bag and go. This was the solution we came up with for uh, traveling with clothes on the road and, and laundry. Uh, this solution was a simple fix for us and it does work well. We usually get by at least five days before we need to do laundry um, with the setup you're seeing here. So we hope you enjoyed our video and uh, hopefully we'll have more to come soon.